back to Nash Crypto for another video. Today I'm going to talk about a, another new project, Solarium. But I'm not a financial advisor. Please do further research before you invest your money. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. If it's financial advice you're looking for, please seek a financial advisor. This is just for educational purposes only. I want to get as many likes, please. So smash that like button, subscribe, notification bell. So do send things out that are quite time sensitive. So be imperative to make sure that you do click on that notification bell. I do have a private VIP group where I'm putting it on buying, selling and trading. Put it all in there first. to find out about all of this stuff before it goes out to the public domain. And I have been making some nice X's recently. Also put some charting in there. Do some trades on the, on the stock market as well. And some people have been making money so far. So it's actually been doing really well. So if you want to get get into that VIP telegram group then you will have to uh, contact me in the chat group link in the description below and we can arrange for you to uh, join that it is a $50 donation at the, for the time being this is quite cheap compared to what other people are charging you out there all right then so um solarium let's talk about this project I've put this in the realms of long term why is it long term I oh, let me get into it so I can show you all about it uh oh Spoke about this one already. I thought I had this on Coin Gecko. It seemed to have disappeared. Let's get you back up. Solarium. There we go. Coin Gecko. Here we are. Right. So at the moment it's up 5.6%. As you can see, it's had a bit of a steady, steady rise since the 21st of September. Now I put this out into my VIP group on the 14th of September. Um, which would have been around around here yes it is down a little bit but look it done a little spike up there and you could have taken profits had you gone in there early but we are where we are it can happen at the moment it's having a nice little steady rise up so it's starting to get some buying power the reason things are a little bit down is because of this poor thing here oh, just looking at meta uh let's go back to the red list doing very well here i'm not particularly prepared is this so bitcoin at the moment it's not doing very well this short i've been running uh since up here because i could see it was running into resistance so i took that short the candle here is a two-way candle with rsi's at the top but if you look at the volume the volume oh tell that off there the volume is quite low in comparison uh, which is in form with this. So there's not much volume coming in. So I do see Bitcoin coming down a little bit more as it hasn't tried to retest this area again. So this is why things are down at the moment. Not because of any particular reason. It's just it's just the way things go. Right, so Solarium. Here we have it. This is about renewable green energy. It's renewable blockchain technology. Pioneering proof of generation. Validation technology on the world's first sustainable layer one blockchain there's a contract um number there i think you buy this on it's on ethereum at the moment yes we all hate ethereum fees but unfortunately some of the best projects are on ethereum unfortunately so how does it work let's have a little look at this video how solarium works Solarium's core principle is renewable energy generation, which is powered by our own unique consensus mechanism called proof of generation. Renewable energy producers can become a validator of Solarium chain by generating renewable energy like they always do. In the process of doing this, producers are securing Solarium chain while using negligible amounts of their renewable energy. Because renewable energy producers are very rich in diversity, including households and businesses, a high degree of decentralization can be reached, which is both environmentally friendly and inclusive at the same time. Renewable energy producers can pull their validation power to ensure everyone can validate and secure Solarium Chain. Producers of renewable energy who are validating Solarium Chain and are securing Solarium Chain in the process receive mining rewards. To learn more, head to solariuml1.com. Don't know about you, but that looks really good. So why Solarium, Solarium God, I can't say it, uh, exists? Take control of your renewable energy with Solar, so, Solarium. I said it fine the first time around. We believe in a world where you have the power to decide what happens with your energy without any middleman involved. Our platform, Solarium, enables you to generate... See, I said it, said it quite well then. <laughs> enables you to generate renewable energy and use it on your terms. Normal limitations on how, when, or with whom you use your energy. 
Join us in our mission to create a decentralized and eco-friendly uh, future with Solarium Chain, the first peer-to-peer -peer renewable energy blockchain. Together, we can make a difference for the environment and society. So it's sort of like pretty much all it rolled into one. The blockchain validates by generating energy like Solarium Chain, offers several unique benefits, sustainable and eco-friendly, centralization and security, resilience to energy crisis, cost efficiency, positive environmental impact. We all love that. It's like the number one thing at the moment for the uh, Western governments. They just love their green energy. Inclusivity and social impact, transparency and trust, incentivizing green energy adoption. Pretty much spells it out for you, doesn't it? Us versus them. Those similar... Um, those familiar, sorry, with Bitcoin understand the costs associated with securing, with securing the chain. Massive amounts of electricity and computational power are spent on validating BTC. With Solaria, miners are rewarded not for spending electricity, but producing it in a renewable fashion. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. P2P Energy, you should power your way by using Web3 enabled smart meters devices. Solarium tracks the storage of personal power, consumption and production. Along with any other users in the system, this allows independent parties to buy and sell electricity from one another on the open market by spending solarium. Now, <clears throat> where does where do I see this going? Obviously, this is definitely a long term project. The reason I say that is because if this is to do what it says it's going to do, it's going to put a lot of energy companies out of business. Because if you can do decentralized energy. People are going to do it, aren't they? Let's be honest. So the big energy companies watch out for this one is what I've got to say. Transparent data retention, easily view energy production, transmission and consumption in real time on a solarium chain. Data held on our ledger is immutable. I just need to close something because it is uh, interfering with the sound. Uh, data held on our ledger is immutable and permanent. Invoices, receipts, delivery, tracking is all publicly available so all users can verify that nothing is being manipulated. So you want to read the light paper, you can do. The team is doxxed as well, so you can hear, uh, go and read all about them. And you can experience it, obviously, go into their um, Telegram page. So here is the, uh, the, what, the white paper, you could say, or their light paper, whatever they want to call it. So, so it explains a little bit more about it. So preface has come to existence to end the manipulation of energy markets, pretty much. Centralised entities are trying to for control forces that they do not fully control. Yeah, introduction. So it gives a bit of information about why they pretty much uh, brought this in. How long is this video for? 27 seconds. It is pretty much everywhere. I mean, all renewable energy is all around us. The sun, the wind, the water. So much uh, ways of actually, you know, being able to deal with all of this. I mean, have a look at this in your own time. And the problem is what technology has been created to decentralise everything was not yet worked out as an envisioned and intended. So decentralisation uh, is the goal and it's happening. We can conclude that decentralisation shift into other areas because of the way the technology initially has been designed and created, etc. So... You know it pretty much shows what it is the solution that's what they're trying to say solarium is an ethereum token project tokenomic supply auto mining distribution halving principles compound interest taxes etc 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 this is what we are more interested in so max supply is 100 million 100 percent total initial supply allocation of 48 and a bit million this is like 48.3 percent auto rewards distributed to holders auto mining consensus 51.7 percent of supply initial supply allocation compared to total was that initial circulated supply including lock supply 48.342 million pretty much Uniswap swap seven and a half million private sale 4.8 million vested 40 percent initial and 60 percent within three weeks so that's already gone past so that's a good thing so don't need to worry too much about that tokenomics auto mining consensus uh, so there's a halving principle in there as well, which is good. So while the, pro with, while the protocol enables the project to provide an, uh, an even distribution of tokens, 
within a predetermined time and a predetermined rate, Halving principles create scarcity as time elapses. So at the beginning of the project, then there will be a 600% APY, which halves over 60 days at an APY of 0.5%. Uh, all tokens are in circulation. It will take 540 days from launch to reach that APY. <clears throat> Mining rewards cease to exist. The utility has created an incentive for investors to hold, pretty much. So 5% tax will be charged on buy and sells. 0% tax gets charged for transferring. Tax consists of auto liquidity adding a 3% and development and marketing at 2%. That's fair enough. Pretty much um, speaks for itself, really. So let's conclude it properly because there's a lot to go through. In conclusion, the concept of blockchain featuring consensus mechanisms and validated principles based on renewable energy generation and peer-to-peer -peer decentralized renewable energy marketplace has the potential to revolutionize the energy industry and create a more sustainable future. By utilizing blockchain technology, it is possible to create a decentralized network of renewable energy producers, consumers, and peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for trading renewable energy concept benefits producers and consumers and contributes to a cleaner and more sustainable energy so that's what it's all about guys and girls and everyone else it's about having you know renewable energy and force it out there and getting it going i mean it's, it's only started this year 60 days have already gone so everything's in circulation which is good brace yourself because the countdown is on market calendars for monday the 25th of september as we unleash the extraordinary power of the surge Get ready to ride the waves. The surge, I think it's going to... Some sort of halving, I'm going to hazard a guess. Um, let's see what that is. Do, 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 do this huge wave coming for Solar Room, I believe the team. Make an all-time money. So I think it's going to boost the price, probably. So if you get in there quick enough, you might actually make some money on the 25th when it has its burst. So the, f the first two made me more bullish about the project and showcase team connections and hard work this time i've been no different already and ex uh and excited <laughs> inside someone's already said there so that looks good i like the look of it solar panels exports it's all about renewable energy it's all about putting it out there and making it centralized i think it's a good project i see it going places where do i see it going well at the moment it's sitting on a six point uh one seven million dollar market cap Let's see if it makes any difference on what Dex Tools might be telling us. Come on, Dex Tools. Like Dex Tools, it gets it gives you a bit more of an accurate picture sometimes. Uh, compared to CoinGecko, don't uh, Coin Market Cap don't always particularly get it right. So let's click on that. Come on, it's a bit slow today. Come on, really? Thank you. Bit slow, bit slow, bit slow. I think I just need to restart my computer. I haven't restarted it for a while. So here we, here we are. Nice steady little move here. It's gone higher there. So yeah, looking good. Right, so $4.8 million market cap. Total market cap is 5 million. Circulating supply, 78, nearly 78 million. Uh, so what was it I was actually looking at? Oh yeah, it was, the, it was the market cap, wasn't it? So the market cap on Dex Tools is saying that. <clears throat> market cap on the CoinGecko looks a little bit out of touch. Let's go with $5 billion market cap. There's another one I can compare this to. is Energy Web Token. Have you ever heard of Energy Web Token? EWT. It was shielded a lot last year, I think. <clears throat> it had some sort of staking going on or something. Here we are. So this is sitting on a $200 million market cap. Same amount of uh, max supply. Similar kind of concept. But I think that um, SRM will probably get more because it's a bit more brand new in its um, existence. So you could compare the two. We're going for $5 million market cap. So you could compare the two if you like. So let's see. Divide that by $5 million see how many x's we get so that's a 39x to get to where energy web uh, token is currently now where did energy web token go i mean this is a market it's a market cap so i want to click on market cap here we go will it give us market right so where did it reach those heights so 649 and a half 
Um, at the moment, it's sitting on 100 million. I went for the double, didn't I? Should have really gone for the circulating, shouldn't I? So, really, that's a times two, isn't it? If you go for circulating supply. So it's a bit more accurate. There we go. So, it got to, so from, a, from 95 million to, so about another six. Another 6x time, another times, times 6. So it's times this by 6. Four, so you're looking at 479 times your money at the height of Energy Web Token. If it would go there, I mean, I mean, who knows? I, I see it going there. What's the price? That says 6.175, 6.181. Slight variation. So let's times that by the current price it's sitting on. Six one oh zero <laughs> six one eight one equals that will put it at a twenty nine dollars and sixty three cent price tag. Not bad in my opinion. That is a pretty good price tag, isn't it? Really. So if you have fifty dollars on this, boom. 20, nearly $24,000 in your pocket for a $50 bet on this company. And it could go there. It really, really could. So really, 14th of September, where are we? So yeah, bought it. We bought it a little bit up here. Um, made a little bit of money. It's come down, but it's starting to move back up again. That's fine. But say you DCA to $100 at this price. DCA to two hundred dollars at this price, ninety five thousand dollars. If you've got two hundred dollars to throw away, that's the kind of heights you're looking at. It is crazy. I mean, it can easily go to zero. I mean, they all could. They could easily go to zero. But I do believe this has got legs to roll. So at the moment, you can only get it on a uh, Uniswap. This is annoying. We all hate ETH fees, but I found if you buy quite early in the morning, UK time, say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock, the Ethereum, Ethereum fees are a little bit more cheaper. So there's a bit of a hint for you. All right, I think it's something to do with the US markets actually, or China or whatever. But yeah, if you if you if you buy around that time, the the uh, it is a lot cheaper. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Tell me what you think about this project. Do you like it? Do you actually buy Have you bought this? Link in the description below. Uh, the website in the description below and comment below as well if you want to let me know how what you thought about this. Was the sound better on this one? The sound wasn't so good the other day. I am talking a little bit more closer to the microphone this time. So please let me know if it was any better. Um, so don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Don't forget to come and contact me if you want to join that VIP group. So I have been making X's on our trades. I will show you 